Hello everyone and welcome to a bit of a different video here. Now, this video sort of is just a video I want to make myself because I think it'll be fun to show you guys some stuff and also it's going to be an update video concerning, as you might be able to tell, Minecraft. That is going to be towards the end of this video. I shall remember to put a little link down to a timestamp down below in the uh, description just in case you guys don't actually want to watch the full video and just want to hear about the update to see if it's be something you're interested in. So definitely go and check that out if you don't want to watch this whole video. I don't know how long it's going to be, but if you don't want to watch all of it, be sure to click the little timestamp in the description to go to the update bit just to sort of hear about what my ideas are and such. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tour of my Minecraft world. Now a bit of background here, I haven't played on this world properly really for about two years. I made it two years ago, uh, let me just get somewhere inside. I made it two years ago or so when I was just sort of enjoying sort of my GCSE period because I had a whole sort of summer of revision or not revision which is you know, usually what I do. Um, and I just had loads of free time, and I love Minecraft at the time, so that's exactly what I wanted to play, etc. And so that's what I did. I didn't really, as soon as it came around to starting my YouTube channel, which was just over two years ago, I stopped playing on this world because I just, I didn't have the time. And I stopped playing Minecraft completely, really, and I haven't really touched this world apart from maybe the last couple of weeks because I've been wanting to play Minecraft again, so I've been getting back into the swing of things. And I've done a few things on this world which I'll talk about, but... I'm going to tour you around this world, show you all the stuff I built. Bear in mind, it was built pretty much two years ago, so a lot of stuff is broken or could be done much you know, much more efficiently. And I'll talk more about each thing as we get there. But, but here is sort of my bedroom, my main sort of mini base. As you can tell, there's a bed there, lovely bed. And there's loads of chests. I'm not going to open all of them, but so there's my sort of mining chest, I guess you could say. Redstone chest, minecart chest, um, loot chest, just... Yeah, you know, potions and such. There's loads of stuff. This is just sort of general stuff. Some brewing stands there. This is loads of ice. Loads of coal. Lo loads of coal in this world. Loads of mossy stone and bricks. Uh, doors. You can see how this is how long the world's. I haven't used the world for because there's so many doors. There are a few there I made, but these doors are unstacked. This back when doors didn't stack. Nothing in that chest. Some quartz. Um, I did play. It was I went, it was I think never quartz came out when I was playing. I'm not sure. Uh, wool, because wool is always fun to have, some leaves and jack-o'-lanterns for a project, wood, more wood, and I won't go for the rest of it, but there's loads of sand and dirt and cobblestone, these are fireworks, I was messing around with fireworks when they first came out, stuff like that, mining pickaxes and stuff, and this was just an anvil, there was used to be an enchanting room, but I'm pretty sure I moved it because it wasn't very useful here. But that's sort of the main little bedroom, I guess you could call it here, there is even a bed in the uh, item frame. But this is not my main base, I guess you could say. Um, when I talk more about the updates, I'll sort of, you know, well, once I talk about the update, well, the stuff I talk about in the update will eventually make this make more sense. Will make this make more sense. So you have to wait for the update to sort of think about that. But here is sort of a bulletin board, I guess. Um, so idea I got from another YouTuber who I used to watch, uh, it wasn't very big, but I can't remember the name, unfortunately. Uh, but I know I got the idea from there. Basically, it's just sort of a list of things to do. So, so build a pumpkin farm, build animal farms, build a melon farm, wheat farm. I can sort of get rid of that one, can't I? Terraform the forest river. There was loads of stuff I wanted to do in this world, as you can see. But it's sort of my to-do list, which is quite nice there. But sort of the main thing you can see in the middle is this huge glass dome. It doesn't look brilliant, in my opinion, now. I wanted to so do some sort of glass dome thing. It doesn't look very good at all because of all the glass. Maybe it look, if it looked better if it had connected textures on or a, a sort of a similar thing with a glass joined together. But it doesn't look brilliant. But here you can see this is sort of the center of a mob system. You can see one, two, three, and then almost four towers there. Obviously, I was just in the middle of making the fourth tower. But this mob system works brilliantly. Um, these are all full. These are just chests that, you know, I've run out of space everywhere else, so that chest isn't closing. Brilliant. Or oh, it did, but it didn't make the sound. Anyway, just loads of loot here. And if I go behind here as well, here is, these are all full. So I have a lot of a lot of loot here. This is another to-do list, um, just sort of was worldwide. So everything in my world. I had ideas of other bases I want to make. See, so I wanted to build a base in the style of Efa as Man Cave. Efa being a very well-known Minecraft YouTuber as Doc M as well. There's loads of stuff, guys. I want to do complete the Ender Base, and then some little um, sort of mini tasks, I guess. Connect every Never Base via pathways in the Never. Connect every base via connect every base via a minecart track in the nether, connect every base 
via an East Road in the Overworld. So there's those little projects I wanted to do here. Just sort of, it was just time consuming stuff I wanted to do, but just sort of complete my world, I guess. Um, it's lagging a bit because I'm recording, but I'm, <laughs> I'm on my laptop still since my PC burnt out a couple months ago. I'm getting a new PC soon and that should hopefully fix any problems I have with low stuff, but enough about that for the moment. As you can see, the mob's ha how did he get out? How the hell did he get out? He's a clever cow. It's the first time I've ever seen one of them escape. Anyway, as you can see, I have some, a few farms here. We have some cows, not doing much apart from being cows. Cactus farm with just, this is really just terribly done, but just a quick auto farm, if it would lag out, of course. Um, which is pretty good, just to sort of collect all the cactus fairly easily, rather than having to go around and break them all. Um, so these sort of farms, they weren't anything big, they were just if I needed the, 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 you know, the materials, I guess. Um, I can put you in there. Here is some cocoa beans, uh, and here is sort of a little barn, I guess you could call it, or a farmhouse. Just some wheat, potatoes, and carrots, and there wasn't really much going on here. Uh, it's just little things. So these, these farms weren't meant to be efficient or semi-automatic or fully automatic, whatever, they were just there, just purely so I could get the materials I needed. But the only other thing out here is a pathway that leads down, as you can see with this towering thing here, go away skeleton, is basically it's just a zombie spawner, basic zombie spawner, enchanting room just through there, and this is where the zombies spawn. Basically these chests are full of rotten flesh and other sort of, you know, iron, This I'm, I'm, st I'm stacked with iron swords and iron helmets and iron shovels for life now, got enough of those and those just rotten flesh there, so just your basic spawner, just for experience if I need it, and what else, there is some stuff, other stuff in here you might have spied in the back there, oh there's also that I need to show you in a minute too, just loads of stuff around here, as I said, this is sort of my main base, the only real base I've worked on properly in this world, I have done quite a lot of stuff with it and just a lot of stuff needs finishing, but I never really got around to it, but if we run over here, you see it's got this nice pathway just going around connecting the mob bases of the mob towers, I guess. All my nether portals in my world are, are messed up because I'm, I'm guessing at some point, one of the updates, when I opened this world up again the other week, all the portals were turned out. So obviously when I came back through a portal, it, if it were, if the one, if the equivalent one in the other world wasn't lit, it would just make a new one here. So that's why I'm gonna have loads of weird portals. But as you can see, this here is an iron golem farm. Which works. Uh, the second floor is not done. It is sort of half complete. But it does work well. Loads of iron and poppies as well. Not that poppies are that helpful, but you know. But it's not, it might be broken slightly. It works, but maybe not brilliantly. Um, villages and, and iron golem spawning may have changed since I last played, but it does work. Just very slowly. But the mob towers, as you, you know, it's a basic design. Loads of people use this design. It's nothing too special. And there are loads of villagers here. Which is the, you know, the Iron Golem farm if I needed them. And, yep, tracks and rails are doing that. But, let's go over here and look at this first. As you might have said, this is where we spawned, or this is where we opened the world up. Uh, that's a very quick automatic smelting system, just if I, you know, I don't want to sit there. Just get some loads of stone. Uh, and here is another spawner. This is one of the very first things I made in this world, or the first proper structures I made um, before I sort of... I, I might have built the dome, but I hadn't built the mob towers or anything. This is sort of one of my main first projects. I don't know what I was thinking with the design. This was two years ago, so my creativity was completely screwed. But, uh, yeah, apparently I, thought that, uh, apparently I thought that looked cool. Who knows? But in here we have a few sections. This section on the right-hand side used to be an automatic wheat farm before they nerfed bone meal, and I never really fixed it after that. But I did used to work as an automatic wheat farm, uh, and got me loads of wheat, as if I look at my chests here. Maybe not a chest, uh... There's some bone meal, and don't know where the wheat's gone. The bone meal's there, though. The wheat and the seeds have disappeared. But uh, if we again go down this winding staircase, which is terribly built because it's really annoying to go down, but the water goes all the way down, so that's quite a nice effect. I'm joking, it's not really that good effect. This used to go off to the little base we first started in. You see here some of the back of it. Uh, it used to just sort of have a, a staircase going down the back of it, which led me to the cave and also around here to this, but I, know, I, f I fixed the bedroom, I guess we can call it, so I took that path out, but I never really bothered to fix that, who knows why. Um, but here, oh, I went up, what am I going up for? I'm supposed to be going down, oh well. 
But if we continue all the way down to the bottom of the staircase, we will find that once we go all the way down there, it actually leads to, obviously this is the top of a spawner, which leads to a spawner. Again, like the zombie one, except this is for skeletons. Hence why we had the storage for the bone meal and also an automatic wheat farm at the surface, because I could get wheat, basically. Don't ask me why I didn't build a wheat farm down here, because then they would still spawn. But uh, I did that, so hopefully we should get a spawning effect here. If we want to be nice, no? Okay, bye. Just an enchanting table here, just to make it for easy enchants. Furnaces, because why the hell not? And loads of chests filled with bows and arrows and bones and... Yeah, loads of bows. I was set for bows in this world. If I pop out of here, I can show you guys another little build. Uh, well, not really a little build, but there's a little hint of it there. I shall not... Oh, there's no button. Oh, there is a button here. I shall not show you that, guys, quite yet, because I want to show you it from the surface first. But that is my slime farm. One of the first things I did in this world was located those two slime chunks that slime those two slime chunks there, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to dig these chunks out and I'm going to make a slime farm here, because one, it would give me loads of resources, it would give me cobblestone, dirt, obviously any minerals and that I found down there, so it would be quite a good build in my opinion, I always like doing builds like at the start of the world, just to give me loads of materials and resources to help me away building whatever I want, so I did that and I started digging it out, and I only finished it yesterday basically, um, this is really the only thing I've worked on since I got back to playing this world, uh, these chests here are basically just storage for the building of the slime farm. Loads of cobblestone, just everything, loads of, you know, whatever. Just loads of stuff stored here. But here is the slime farm. I dug all the chunks out, all the way down to the bottom. And you can see there's a nice slime there. All of these greenish or palish green blocks are slime blocks. And as you can tell, this is the only thing I've worked on recently because slime blocks are only fairly recent. Um, and I also made the slime now. I'm quite proud of that slime. It's made out of layers of glass. Uh, the stained glass, so I do quite like quite like that quite a lot. There's the skeleton farm walkway, I guess you could say. I was planning on connecting them up, but they're not really that good. But this, yeah, two two slime chunks completely all layered up to 40. And if I see, and the good thing is, all these slime blocks, I can hop on down. Oops, ready and boing, and you can see all the slime chunks there. Don't ask me why I use lime and magenta wool. It looks ridiculously bad. Um, but the slime, slime farm works brilliantly. Obviously, all the slime blocks I got here was from the, from the farm. Uh, I also went a bit crazy with the slime blocks around here, just trying them out. So it looks pretty bad. Um, but the slimes jump off here, jump on down, and the big ones, here they come. Big ones get burnt here, and get turned into little, or medium ones rather, as you can see here. And they'll come on down here to get burnt by this one, and then turn into the little slimes which you might be able to see just about going up. Yeah, there's one there. Just about through the slime blocks. Um, if any little slimes jump by a spawn and jump or down, they do actually die in the fire. Um, but, you know, you, you might ask, why am I elevating the slimes up here? Why not kill them down there? Well, obviously, it's two years ago, so I built this before. Item elevators were pretty, you know, they weren't as common, I guess. Um, so, obviously, I wanted the items to the surface, but I couldn't do that, so I just transported the slimes to the surface and then killed them up here. Whereas now we've got to kill them down there, transport the items to the surface via just the sort of a water, and oh, they get out of here as well. This is just an AFK bit I, I built for myself uh, the other day. But if I. No slimes. No bad slimes. There we are. Um, but yeah, here is. Those are slime balls. But yeah, the better idea now would be to kill them down there so they can respawn basically as soon as possible and then uh, transport the items. I do have an off switch for this thing. It's a nice button. As you can see, it works for all the layers apart from the top layer. So if we click it now, it'll be a bit of lag because of water. Because obviously the only way to stop slime spawning is to, pour, is to pour water on the area or similar. And if we then go down, we should be able to see that all the... Okay, it might be broken. Oh no, it works. It's just going very slowly. You can see all the water there. It's pouring out all the chunks, apart from the top one, just because there's only one one layer anyway. Uh, but that stops all the slimes from spawning, apart from up there, of course. But that allows my other mob farm to work at sort of maximum efficiency. Or pretty much maximum efficiency. And then obviously there's also a switch on the other mob farm to turn that one off. So the slime farm can be more efficient. 
so either one works, you know. They weren't huge farms, they did need an off switch just in case I didn't want any more slime spawning to, you know, maybe I wanted to just spawn loads of mobs in my world on the surface, who knows. But obviously since I'm in this area, caves have been let up quite a lot as well, so there are quite a lot of mobs spawning in both of these farms, and also in the area around. Loads of slimes coming now, guys. Loads of slimes coming, anyway. But yeah, as you can tell, I've also lit up this whole area. This is a forest biome. Um, and there was trees covering this whole area I wanted to begin with, but obviously I've cut them all down, um, all around this hair, just for wood, basically. I should really replant them at some point, but it's just what I was doing. As you might tell already, the beacon's there, going up, um, speed boost, and then obviously it's said to jump boost and everything, as is usual with beacons. And also, you might have seen just then, what is that floating thing there? Well, it's actually a nether portal, there's not much else up there at the moment, but that was sort of meant to be the start of my storage room for this world. I was going to build a, a big storage room in the sky above here, uh, you know, higher than the mob traps of course, and that was going to be stored, storing all my items basically for this world. Uh, I just never really got around to building it. I built it in creative mode because obviously it's a huge build so I wanted to plan it out beforehand, but I never got around to it unfortunately. Um, but there's not much else to show you in this little area. Well, not really little, but this area at all. Don't ask me what the magenta will up there is for. I think it's something to do with a sheep. There was a sheep like stood there for ages and ages and ages um, in my world, and I eventually killed it. So I put the wool there just to sort of signify it. But if I then take you down here, if we walk on down, and we can go into with the nether. As I, as I said, all the nether portals were out, so I had to turn them on. But I don't know, this is a really bad sort of... All the, all the lava's gone here, actually, because... Oh, oh dear, this isn't good. I survived! Hallelujah! Don't ask me why the beacon is missing here. I have, literally have no idea. Oh, a witch, hi. Uh, I literally have no idea why the beacon is missing there. Because there should be a speed beacon in the middle, but there is apparently not. So, don't ask me at all. Okay, we've got some glowstone and stuff there, but I'm surprised we managed to survive that since this is at level... What level are we at here? Nine. No, wait, are we level nine? Yeah, block nine. I can't read the new coordinates very easily. Since there's no beacon here, I may as well pillar up. I don't have enough blocks to pillar up, for God's sake. Oh dear. Let's go up here. And we're back. Jesus, why is there a hole there? I don't know why there's a hole there. I must have my reasons. It was two years ago, don't ask me. But if we go into the nether here, we shall see. Welcome to, once it downloads the terrain, of course. Download the terrain. Welcome to the nether hub. This was my nether hub. Um, okay, if I take you to the second floor, the lower floor, rather. These four tunnels here were supposed to be... I was basically planning on having a nether hub here, and then another, another nether hub, like a thousand blocks that way, a thousand blocks that way, a thousand blocks, etc. Like in a square sort of shape. So obviously I was mining out these huge places for, for you know, minecart tracks. Uh, and there was going to be and then a second level for every nether hub, and these, this would lead to individual little bases around here. So, for example, this one is just, if I look at it, just takes me track to the nether. Also takes me out to the nether. This is broken. I don't know why it's broken. Don't ask me. I haven't fixed it. But uh, if we pop on down here, we can go to the nether. So it's not a very long track, this one. But you can see, here is my nether. It's... Looking pretty destroyed since all the gas don't like me at all. Um, but here is the nether hub, and that is actually a portal that leads to the portal in the overworld that was really high up. Just because I'm not going to jump up there every time, Jesus. But if I jump back up here, some nice nether wart for decoration on, on this track. Uh, I was never really that good at decorating. I'm hoping to get better. Who knows? Um, but yeah, each, each of these was supposed to be like a different track leading off to a different thing. Uh, and this one here, as you might to tell, is going, or is one of the main tracks. That just got blew open, don't ask me. If we go here next, this is actually going to lead me to my stronghold, or to one of the strongholds. I've only explored one in this world, I'm pretty sure. Um, as you can tell, this wasn't really my built track. It's not really proper at all. I had all these ideas of doing stuff, but I never really got around to finishing it up. So this, this track here was never nicely done. It was always just a very bodge job track, I guess. But... It leads to this portal here, which will take me to a stronghold, or to you know, the, one, the one stronghold I've explored, and obviously has an access to the end. The end, indeed. And here we go. Let's it downloads the terrain once more. As I said, guys, it does have a habit of making new portals, or it had, so there's, there's the original portal. Here's the new one. Don't ask me. 
uh, and the hole is over here, I think. To get down to the stronghold, it is indeed. There it is. Nice quick ladder down. This is sort of the mini base at the stronghold with a bed and everything else. Can I sleep in this bed here? I can't. I'm going to sleep at night. Sweet. So, yeah, just loads of stuff in. And I also mined out this stronghold. So, I have loads of stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, mossy stone bricks. However many stone bricks you want, I've got them. And loads of doors. Again, doors weren't stackable. So, not very compact. What's in this chest here? Ender pearls. Yes, I need ender pearls. Thank you. That's what I came to this base for first. And here is the portal to the end. As you can tell, I mined out this entire base here. Not the entire base, actually, it's still quite a bit to get rid of. Uh, but a decent amount of it I mined out and just got all the stone brick because stone brick is great for building with. And obviously, mossy and cracked aren't. Well, they, at the time, they weren't renewable. You could only get them from strongholds. Now, I think you can make mossy stone bricks from a vine and a stone brick. I'm not sure how about uh, what about cracked, but I mined it all out anyway. Here is the end portal, so we're going to pop into the end here. I haven't really built an, well, actually, I have built an ender pearl farm, as you might expect. Ender pearl slash experience farm. With the enderman, where are the enderman? This is a bit scary. There should be loads of enderman. Okay, there's one there. I guess it's because I'm listening up here, that makes sense. Here is the portal back, which we'll use in a minute, with the dragon egg on top. I have not moved that at all. Um, and some random netherrack there. As I said, I haven't built anything else in the end at all. I haven't even, well, I didn't look at you. I didn't look at you. Fine, I'll fight you though. I'll fight you if you want. Okay, then. This is getting risky now. He does not like me at all. I'm a bit scared to leave now. As you can tell, there's a huge cobblestone track going off to my... That's dangerous. Going off to my uh, ender pearl farm, which will go on to long to now, once I make sure he's not chasing me still. Okay, screw it. We'll go. I don't really want to jump off the end here, but... If we run along here, you can see in the distance already starting to form with a beacon as well, because beacons are always nice. We have, if it all loads in, of course, the lovely Enderman farm or Ender Pearl farm or however you might want to refer to it as. And I have actually done a bit of building here, uh, some experiments and such, but we're going to go and we're going to teleport down there with an Ender Pearl. Save some time. And yep, yeah, beacon's there just in the way. I shouldn't really look for this. Ender pearl farm is also broken, I think. Snow, because I built this whole thing out of snow. This thing is broken, because they can get out now for some reason. Uh, there's still only one hit, but they can get out. So I don't really know why that is. A uh, lot of sounds. Oh, hi. But all these chests here are filled with ender pearls, basically. There aren't too many in my actual overworld, because I use them all up pretty quickly, but they are all full with inf oh, all enchanted items. Loads of iron stuff, because I don't really like enchanting diamond stuff too much, but... Potato farm, because why not? Enchanting table there, and an anvil there. As you saw, there is a bit of building here as well. It's not all just this ender pearl farm. I want, I want the idea of floating islands here, and the idea would be to, you know, move around them with the use of ender pearls. Which is a bit risky, because if you miss an ender pearl, you're going to fall into the void. So maybe I'll, I think I thought about putting something at the bottom, like below here, just to, in case I fell. Uh, like some sort of, I guess, sea. But each each island was going to be a different thing. So this has got some cocoa beans on, some sugarcane farm, uh, some sugarcane rather. And this one down here was carrots, loads of carrots. And this was a jungle-based one. Doesn't look as good in the nether, in the nether, in the, nether, in the end. Um, yeah, cocoa beans, just sort of all the trees. This is, yeah. Oh yeah, this is what it was. This was like, okay, here's, an, here's a jungle tree. The jungle island is there. Here's a birch tree. The birch island was going to be there. Here's a spruce tree. The spruce won't be there. And here is a um, normal tree. And the normal tree will be here. Uh, we're taking care not to attack the enderman. That's the trouble. If they can escape. See, it was like, lit up, so it's not like they're spawning here and teleporting there. I don't really know what the, what the uh, deal with that is, but uh, wheat here. And then I always kept some ender poles here, because obviously if you're on this island and you, know, you don't have ender poles, how the hell are you going to get back apart from pillaring across? Um, which is easy on this island because you can chop down trees, but you, know, you guys get the idea. But that was my idea for the whole base here, having floating islands all around with different farms and such. And I'm lagging, I'm glitching out here, lovely. But so yeah, enemy farm. Quite nice on the experience. Quite a lot. And obviously, ender poles are very nice as well. Okay. Yeah, don't ask me why they uh, teleport out. It's, it's a bit weird. 
uh, I'll have to sort of look at that. But, yep, loads of just stuff here, ender pearls, basically. Uh, I should have, again, I, I sh this should have a mine track, Minecraft, mine tra Minecraft, mine cart track all the way back to where you come in because then you can easily transport ender pearls back along using a storage mine cart and whatnot. But I was never about that life. Uh, I should have really done it. I, I plan to in, in my next world as I talk about more about later. But uh, I need to finish up stuff really more rather than I get, so I get it working and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You know, done. I really don't think about actually polishing it up and making it a lot easier to use. But if we head back to the end of uh, the, the overlord portal, really, we can get back and look at some more stuff I built over there. Oh, so close. Escape. And we should end up back at the original base, I think. Yep, here. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to head back into the nether and we shall show you another build I have. Actually, something I've got going on in the nether. I haven't really built too much stuff in the nether in this uh, in this world. There are a couple things, but one is something I'm going to show you guys. That down there are portals. I should really go down there in a minute and check it out. If I had a flint and steel, that'd be useful, but we'll go and check out this nether base first of all. I wouldn't really call it a base, though. More of a project. Uh, yeah, and also, again, not the safest way of actually getting to this place, as you'll see later on in the video as well. I'm not I'm not very good at making safe pathways in the Never really. Usually they're just one block wide runways with lava either side, which is not the best, really. If you get hit by a gla gas, you're going. I'm pretty sure gas hit this at some point as well, is why I've got a hole there. But, here we go. We are going to get to here, which is where we're going. There's a ladder going up there, there's a line going down there and there, and there's a line going down here. Any ideas yet, guys? Any ideas what it is? Any ideas? No? Okay, well here is actually the, the I guess the nexus, the main centre of this project. Which is a little Neverhack, Neverhack Shack, Neverhack Shack. Again, there's a wooden door, don't ask where there's a wooden, it should be iron, but you know, effort. It's not the safest either. These chests are basically all full of lovely Neverack. All the way up to, like, here. All these chests are full of Neverack up to here. And those are empty and waiting for Neverack. So Zombie Pigman. Here is the nexus of this, this project. Again, fire everywhere, don't ask me. And here is just loads of trees. I need trees for this project. Or wood, rather, for this project. Because if we go up this ladder here, which is going to take a while, so let's use ender pearls. That wasn't the best ender pearl in the world, was it? Brilliant. I'm pretty sure I went further. Uh, I'm not very good at throwing ender pearls up ladders. Let's just get to the top. Or we'll do that and get suffocated again. I'm li I'm I'm impatient, guys. Okay, I'm impatient. I'm an impatient guy. There we are, and ha ha! What is this big open area here? Well, this was going to be, well, this is the project for my gold farm. Basically, what I was going to do was I was going to mine out. If you stood, I think I probably gave it some leeway as well. But if I stood here, I wanted all the land that, that generated in or that, you know mobs could spawn on to be gone. All the land to be gone, and then I could build a gold farm at the centre and have just a billion gold. Obviously, sometimes it's easier to get on top of the nether and actually build spawning pads up there or down here or whatever. Um, but I want to do this project just because it was a big, long project. Uh, and I just felt like it, really. So this is... I'm currently at block 120. Free block clearance here. And I'm, I was mining out a free block high all the way around here. As you saw just now, I actually mined down because I got bored of just going across. I want to actually mine a huge chunk out. Um, but yeah, this was the project, uh, and again, you can see how I got bored of mining out, so I mined a big chunk down, which looks pretty cool if we look down it. You can just see, just about see the base there, uh, the floor rather. You don't want to fall down there at all. But yeah, this was the project, I was mining out this huge entire area, I, I was about halfway through this, this tiny bit here, but after I, after I'd done this free high section, I was planning to use TNT to actually hollow it out and make it a lot more efficient. As you can see over here, I used TNT to blow up this bit down here. Oh, great, gasks can now spawn. Obviously, with free eye area, you don't have to worry about ghasts. But 
when you get to a sort of an area that's, oops, a room that's taller than three. Oh, come on, I thought I killed you. Did I kill it or just hit it? I don't fucking know. Anyway, yeah, with a room that's higher than three, you are and going to end up with ghasts spawning. Now, if I was planning to actually carry on this world and continue this project, I would be doing some of the roof here. I've got a plan. I've got, I would have an idea to what to do with the roof and the walls as well, so I wouldn't leave them bare Neverack. But since I was just actually doing it like this, oh, did I anger them? I shot one of them, didn't I? Oh God, that's gonna be fun. Getting out of here. Are you guys all mad? They're all mad at me. Run, 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 run. Eating food. But yeah, this is the project here, guys. I didn't get that far in it because it was only even when I was playing two years ago, it wasn't too high on my. wasn't you know, I hadn't worked on it for too long, and this is one of the things I've worked on since I got back. So it's a very long project, but I, I just want to do it. Uh, it take it take a lot of effort, but I want to do it rather than just sort of do it going above the never or whatever. I liked the idea, the premise of it. These guys aren't mad at me because they are my best friends. Sweet. Okay, well, this was this never project, never thing done, never base, that's the one. So let's go and look at some other overworld stuff we can access from the never. Huh. Sweet. Okay. Right, let me go and see one of these bases over here, I think. If I can, yes, I can get to it from here. Just be careful not to fall into lava. But these two here, oh, again, oops, yep, this, I'm all lagging out because I'm recording, but double zombie skeleton spawner. So if we go for here, this is actually when I was just going caving, I think, one time, I just found, like, a double zombie skeleton spawner in range, so I thought, why not, let's build an experience farm. So if we get here, again, bloody thing, um, it's making portals where it shouldn't be making them. There's where the actual portal is, so I should really try and get into there, I guess. If I can. Uh, good thing I can. Not very easy, at least. Typical. I don't know why, they must have changed the never spawning, or the never portal positioning, because it's just ridiculous. Okay. But yeah, enchanting room there. On, it's not really a room, it's just the enchanting table with some books around it. It's brilliant. Loads of rotten flesh and potatoes and carrots, bones and arrows. And so um, yeah, loads of enchanting pickaxes. Pick I was enchanting stone pickaxes because I had so much experience. Where is this going? Nowhere, okay. But I'm pretty sure they all drop here because this is one spawn here. No, maybe not. One spawn here. No, that's just where I go up, okay. One spawner here. Yes, one spawner here, as you can tell. And then the other one was somewhere else, I don't know. But as you can see, they both drop in the same place. All gonna be one hit, apart from maybe the zombies, so sometimes better to use a stone sword. But, give you some lovely experience, basically. And yeah, just another spawner like that. Now, what was the other portal next to there? I, I'm not even sure myself, so. <laughs> This is how long I've been having been playing on this world for. Let me see what this one was. It was a double cave spider spawner. Oh, cave spiders. The bane of cane spiders. Cave spiders are the bane of mining, basically. But let's go and see if I, I don't know if I finished this or whether I just used it. But again! Oh, it's taking me to the same place again. Okay. Well, I must have some sort of journey to the surface here. So I shall go up there and see if we can find the cave spider spawner. Here is my way to the surface. It's not even that deep down. Not bad. And this is where they come up and go down. Okay, so the cave spider spawner, I made, as you might be able to tell, beacons for this. So the cave spider spawner is possibly there. Or no, I actually just made a, a, um, a sorry for the trees, fast graphics make me ill. Uh, yeah, so that's that there. And there is another big sort of pillar somewhere, if I can just maybe figure out where the portal leads to, I can head the right direction rather than wandering around the woods. Um, Alright, so this, well, if we go this way it gets bigger, so I need to go this way, and this way it gets bigger, so I need to go this way, okay. So it's just sort of this way, generally, we've got to look for a big pillar in the sky, 
And we should be able to find the spawner fairly easily. There it is. See? Told you, didn't I? Told ya. Not even that far away, you see? You can see you, you, if the trees weren't there, you'll be able to see it. Oh my god, fast trees. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. This goes down to the double cave spider spawner. If this portal was lit, obviously the other one would go to it. But it's not, because all my portals went out. There is that. Okay, I don't think I've actually made this into anything, or maybe I did. Um, I'm guessing they're supposed to come here. That blocks it there. And that blocks it there. Oh, let's not do that. It might work here, I'm not sure. Don't ask me where the, sp the spawners are. One's there, I'm guessing, and then the other one is maybe over here. Who knows? But I think, yeah, this is where I went to attract them to me. If they want to come at all, it's probably broken as well, but you know. And then this is where I'd go down to actually kill them and get their experience. Something along those lines. Again, unfinished, because, you know, I shouldn't have made an experience farm. Case banners are terrible for experience, so I should have made a string farm. But, oh well, another project for another day. That is that there, and we're now back. Yeah, we've gone to the right one this time. Sweet. So, let's go. As you can tell, let's see this, the nether hub from the outside. I was planning to actually skin it in something else, once we built the inside. Um, but I never got around to finishing the nether hub, because I never got, really got into it. And there was always too much sandstone needed, so it was a bit of a struggle. But here's just the base. Um, nothing too special there. If we go over to here... You might have seen it earlier as a cobblestone structure out in the water. The water. The lava. The lava. And we can go and see what that is. Bum, 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 bum. If anyone wondering, this, this world is actually a large biomes world. When I chose, when I built this world or made this world, I was like, I want large biomes. Because large biomes are actually cool for... You can make a base and everything around it is the same biome. Rather than making a base, you've got like snow off to one side and... Uh, you know, desert off to another or something, you know. So it's a bit more focused, I guess. It allows you to actually make a base that looks like it's fully in the area, I guess. Uh, plus it's always helpful because then when you get a fun desert, you can also, you got, you're set for sand for life, basically. Set for sand for life. Try saying that when you're drunk. But, here we are, and here we go. This is actually leading to another farm, which is a, if we wait for it to load, not really much of tense tension, is it? Come on, there we are. Oh, and it's taking me down here. Here's a zombie spawner that I never actually used or anything. Uh, I just found it when I was caving one time, and then the, the portal decided it was going to come down here. This is the bottom of the farm. My keyboard is actually not working right now, which is not very helpful. So I might have to wait for it to know it's good now. Okay, if I go to the surface, I'm pretty sure if I dismount that portal, the, the other ones will link up properly again, but since that portal was actually closer to, to the one in the nether, they're like, now nah, we're going to link up. Screw this actual real one. But here we have it. Which farm? Which is broken! Because I think they must have changed how which huts spawn mobs. Or alternatively, um, it screwed up my world somehow. One of the updates. And it's no longer a witch hut possibly. I don't really know. Um, but it used to work really quite well. But with the new spawning changes, it is terrible. So if I stand back, it should spawn fairly quickly. I'm not sure. Just how well it was born. Because there's, also, there's, also, there's no land around here. So, not for the spawning distance at least. Loads of these. There's an anvil. Just loads of dirt, basically, that I've dug up. And you can see the edge of the swamp land there. And a lovely little dock I made. Just for getting around this huge place. But yeah, loads of cobble, loads of dirt, loads of everything. And it's broken. So, you know, that's how this helpful. I really don't know what this does. This lever, I think it might. Turn it on and off. But don't ask me. Okay, right. Enough of the broken witch farm. Let's go back and we'll see what else we can find. I do remember one thing I need to show you. So it's a, it's a pretty big walk. So I, I think I'll see you guys there. Here we are. Oh dear, that's not, that's not good. Okay. I have further falling three boots on. So it's not like it really matters. But you know. Here we have it. This is a portal I made to lead us to. Bum, ba -da 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 -dum. Hopefully, it's to the right place. 
I doubt it will, but you know, who knows. It didn't take me to the right place, okay. It might take me actually a long while to... F We're in the jungle, as you can tell. It might take me a while to actually find the place I want to go, because these portals are messed up, so I should return when i found it. Come on, be nice to me, Guilds of Minecraft mapping. Oh, there's another portal there. Actually, I think... Just get, oh, that's not good. Or is it still going to fly? No, oh, I think I'm good here. Sweet. Alright. I think if I go back through, I think there's actually another portal I made. I think this is the portal I first made when I actually wanted to go to the jungle biome. To get jungle trees and whatnot. And then when I actually decided to build something... Oh dear, that's not good. When I actually wanted to... Where the hell am I? Oh, of course. The ender pole went through the portal. And this is the portal. Wait, no. Okay, this is actually the portal I want to go into now. I don't know how the ender pole ended up in it. Coming out of it, but okay. We'll go with it. But I think this ender portal will take us where we want to go. Because over here is the one we were just at. That was close, because this could have come out the wrong way and sent me into lava. Whew. Just remind me to never throw an ender pole for a portal again. Take me to the right place, please. Is it the right place? No, I think it's just the one we were... Oh, no, wait. It's the right place. Here is a jungle temple. Uh-huh. Love jungle temple there, as usual. But then if we look over here, we have a... Oh, go away, skeleton. You ruin it. A tree house I was building, or a big tree, basically, as you can tell. A nice, big, trunked tree. Don't ask why I lined it with green wool. I guess I just did it for to help me find it. I don't know. But here is a big tree. Uh, flattened out some area to make it nice, I guess. Here is a big tree. If we go inside it, there's only one entrance at the moment, which is in a root. Um, I wasn't really going to be making these roots, unfortunately. Um, entrances were always hard for trees. And here is first floor. And if we continue going up, here is the second floor, or at least the, the, you know, the second place I fought, at least. The way I built them was I, I, you know, these big trees there grew them up, connected them up, and then chopped down the inside bits, basically. So I was going to have to, like, curve it in. As you as you can see, some of it is curving, I guess. And I was planning to make it that high. Um, so it was going to be a pretty darn big tree. Um, but it was really quite hard. I'm not a very creative person, so building it was quite hard for me. So, but I was getting there. I was, I was making my way up, but that was my tree house there. I would try and end up to the portal, but I don't really want to go and... Did I throw it? I did throw it. Sweet. I didn't want to throw it inside the portal again, because that's never good. I wonder how far you could travel in the nether doing just that. Actually, I guess it has to be rendered, so it's not too far. It's not like you could throw it in the pearl for a portal, die, and then, you know, if the portal's a thousand blocks away in the nether, teleport there instantly. It's not how it works. But that's the treehouse there I was building in the middle of building. Um, I'd really like to actually finish a project like that suit at some point, because treehouses look cool, basically. But... That's that place there. If I then go and take you to... I have a wither skeleton farm somewhere in another fortress. It's not automated or anything. It's just sort of, you know, the pads uh, to go and kill them. But I have no idea where it is. No idea at all. I may have a blaze spawner as well, but again, I have no idea where it is. So I can't really take you... Take oh Ender pearls lagging me out, or glitching me out, rather. I can't take you there at all, if it, even if I, you know, knew where it was... I, or knew what it looked like, I wouldn't know where it was. So, uh, good job, Matt. Good job, Matt. There's also another portal a bit further along down past where the jungle one is, which leads to a forest biome, which is just basically this quarry, okay? Sweet. Gas tier. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, it leads to a forest biome, which is just a quarry, so if I want more cobblestone, I can go there. So, that's that. There is, uh, two more places I can take you, or one main place, I guess. Which is, if I remember correctly, a couple thousand blocks. So, let's see, there's another of the main sort of the big tracks leading up down there. Um, again, I don't know why this doesn't work, but you know. So yes, yeah, so I want to take you to that place, and we need to go over there to do it. You can see the ladder leading up through the nether side. So here we are. Okay, so I'll run for a bit. Make a little montage of it because it's a hell of a long way away. 
and I'll bring you guys back when we are there. That's not good. Again, there's no never track here. <laughs> this isn't the exception again. I haven't done a minecart track. I really should have, but nope. Nope. I can only just remember where to go as well, so. Good job, Matt. Good job. And here's where it starts to get dangerous. Like most of my never pathways. Very dangerous indeed. There's a hole there. I might even have to repair some of the track along the way because, yep, gas do not like me at all. And they like to blow up this pathway. There is another Never Fortress here. Don't ask me uh, if I've explored it or not because I have no idea. But as you can see, the pathway in the, in the, pa in the, in, in the, the past, the future, what? In the distance is a treacherous pathway. Very treacherous indeed. And we have to go over it. I need another swiftness potion, please. Sometimes the only way to get along this path is with a swiftness potion, because the, gla ga the glass the gas will blow parts of it out and you have to jump across the gaps. Because I don't bother to fix them. I just jump across the gaps because I just live life on the edge, guys. It's just how it happens. Is that the same Nether Fortress or a different one? Who knows. But there's a Nether Fortress there. That's all that matters. Oh, look. Yep, yeah, as I said, they don't like me. Blowing up my path. As I said, sometimes the path blows out. The only free wide path section. The rest is one. Don't know why that's free, but that's me. But we are almost there. That leads off to a separate path, but we're not going along there. That goes along to a jungle biome, or what was a jungle biome, which I just completely decimated. It was my deforestation area, basically. Went to cut down trees. Don't ask me why, I just felt like it was needed. So I did that, but we're actually going along here to another base, which is more useful than the jungle biome. Much more useful. This is possibly the bit of the, the path where I always get lost, because there is no indication of the pathway apart from the hole in the ground. So if you're not near it, you can't tell as the pathway. So I'm always running across there, looking for a way up and down. But we're almost there, guys. It's okay. How many blocks are we out? Okay, not really, it's a thousand blocks, basically. A thousand, thousand. But in, in real life, it's eight thousand, eight thousand, or in, in the main world, I guess. In the other world. Why is there wood here? Well, one time I came back and the zombie had come through and almost knocked me into the lab, so I felt like the wood was there for safety. Even though it would probably get burnt at the first sign of a gas, but, you know. Welcome to, if it would load, welcome to my desert quarry. This is where I got all my sand from. It's, it's a thousand blocks away in the nether, so it's not really the best located, but I don't want to destroy a desert biome near me, because I am playing on large biomes. But, here is where I get all my sand from. A lot of it has been dug out. And this huge thing here, I thought, okay, if I'm going to be in this area for a long, long time, I may as well actually get some farms going. See, I have Neverwalk farm, wheat, melon, pumpkin, cooker beans, trees just for wood. Don't ask me why they're still there, though, if I haven't chopped them down. Um, obviously, all the stuff I got from mining and caving. But, here is a huge... Sure, okay, farm. It's not even done. I need some more lily pads and some more water to go in them. But lily pads, see this pattern here, except with water and lily pads there. Sure, okay, it's surrounding. You go through, you knock them all down. You go through, you pick all the bits up, which is harder than you think because you don't know where the bits are. But yeah, I've mined all this section out here. All this here. This is actually a small desert island, I think it is. Um, so, you know, eventually it's just going to be a huge hole in the ground, or it would be if I was going to continue playing on this world. But, yes, that is that. I have sugar cane for days. I never need more paper again with this farm. It is a thousand blocks out there, which is the only downside to it. But, you know, I've only harvested it like twice, and I've got maybe two double chests, so. But loads of sand and sandstone as well, and then, again, the double portal thing. It's stupid. Uh, and then there are some pillars out in the ocean, if they're going to load in. No. Let's show you my caving expeditions. There is one there, I think, and one there. So I'll go, I might find a cave here and then go out caving and, and there and come back with loads of goodies. If I can look in my goodies chest here, which is this one. Yep, six diamond blocks. A couple pickaxes I've enchanted because I made an enchanting table out here. So I'm pretty sure I made it out of here. I didn't bring it, I made it because I just mined all the stuff myself when I was here. But yeah, huge sugarcane farm. Absolutely, just entirely huge. Who knows how much sugarcane is in there at once. This was an automatic chicken farm with eggs. Or not automatic, but semi-automatic egg farm. 
but I took it out or killed the chickens because lag. But yes, this is a huge. I I did. You, yeah, I see. At one point, I did actually decide I was going to go under the sea and get the rest of the, the sand, but it's really too much effort. So uh, I've just kept it to going up to the sea level. Excuse me, that was rude. Oh, Creeper. There we are. Okay. But yeah, that's this area here, and that's, I think, pretty much all the areas in my world. I haven't got too many areas, uh, and these are all the main ones. I might have a few more where I just sort of do, um, like, strip mining or something. I'm pretty sure I have an area for that. Strip mining with another sugarcane farm. But I don't know where the, the portal out for that is, so... Yeah, not very helpful. But guys, I'm going to go back to our, our home area, and then I shall actually talk about the update section of this video now we finish the whole tour. So I'll see you there. So we're back here in the sweet home and there is a creeper on my farm. Creeper. Did he just despawn? He just despawned. Sweet. He's a good guy creeper. Okay, so I'm back in the home area here or the main area. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the updates. So oh there's a, there's a tree farm here as well. I didn't show you guys a tree farm. Here is a tree farm. This is a tree farm. Just some trees in it and there's a farm and there's also some pumpkins down there growing because I need a lot of pumpkins but you know you guys get the idea. So yes the update section of this video. What is the update about? I might just go down and bounce on slime farm while I talk. Uh, so the update. As you might be able to tell I like Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft again recently because you know I've had some free time on my hands and I'm going to have even more free time on my hands once I actually finish my university sort of exams course you know course for the year which is going to finish on may 7th may 7th is my last exam and i have three of them as well and about that time i'm also going to be getting a new pc because my pc as you guys might remember died out in december of last year and i've been using my laptop since hence why this video might be a bit laggy or you know buggy or whatever because it's on a laptop and minecraft's not really the best on a laptop plus also the fact that um i did kind of well, I have two screens set up, so it's also not, you know, the graphical processing unit on my laptop is having a bit of a hefty time. Anyway, so, oh, this is the problem with having slime blocks down in the bottom here. Mobs can spawn on them, so slimes can. But, uh, yes. So, my idea is, because I don't really have that many videos going up at the moment, all I've got is a Zelda Let's Play, as well as uh, Pokemon Origins every weekend, or most weekends, if I can get around to doing it. Uh, my idea is, over the summer, I want to do a Minecraft Let's Play, and maybe carry it on afterwards, because I want to play Minecraft loads over the summer, I love the game, I want to, you know, start a new world, I want to do everything I've done here, but better, and everything like that, guys, uh, because Minecraft's a brilliant game, even if I'm not that creative, it's still, it's amazing, I love playing it and such. So I want to do that, I want to do a Minecraft Let's Play over the summer on the channel, so the idea would be, Zelda would probably be finished by then, I'd, I'd hope. Uh, but the idea would be having Minecraft every other day or something, and then have uh, Origins on the weekend, and then any time a new Pokemon game gets announced, or a new main main series, for example, Pokemon game gets announced, I would start covering that, because that's what my channel mainly is, guys. No one watches my Let's Plays video, or very minimal people do. My channel is not about Let's Plays for Pokemon. It's not about, you know, it's not people don't really watch Wi-Fi or Battlespot or anything like that, guys. Um, so if I'm going to do something Let's Play wise, I want to do something I want. I want to do something I'm going to enjoy, and I, I, enjoy, I enjoy Minecraft. Whereas Pokemon Let's Plays, I don't enjoy as much, I guess. Um, so, plus I'd like to just bring another side of stuff to my channel. I think it'd be cool to have Minecraft if it's just over the summer, maybe as a small series. I think it'd be pretty cool. So I'm going to start a new world when I get my new PC. I'm going to start recording it. I mean, obviously the first bit of time in the world I, I, I do, you guys will be there with me because you know it's all sort of new stuff. Um, but then the rest of it would be, you know, I'd, I'd go away and do stuff and then maybe involve you guys in it and show you bits and then update you every now and again. Um, so my two main inspirations would be Etho, Etho's Lab, who I love, he's amazing, um, and then probably Doc M as well, because they both have, a, a, you know, Minecraft series I watch completely, just amazingly that I love them, or I used to, I'm watching, I'm watching them again now, I've, now I've got some time. But uh, those are my two main inspirations, I'd say, and so my Let's Plays will be in a similar style to them, I, w I would, you know, probably estimate. But I want to get some feedback from you guys. What, do you like the idea of me doing a Minecraft series at the summer? Would you watch me doing Minecraft? Do you play Minecraft yourself? I know some people hate Minecraft, so obviously they won't watch it. But, um, you know, what are your thoughts, guys? Let me know down below. Uh, also, 
just obviously I could stream stuff as well for Minecraft. Hopefully, you know, I'd be able to handle streaming Minecraft since it's not a very high detailed games, so I should be able to manage it with my like three sixty P streams. Um But I think that'd be cool. I think it'd be cool guys. Uh let me know what your feedback is down below in the comment section. Just so I can get a feel of what you guys think about this. Because obviously some people might not like it, some people might like it. You know, just that general idea. I want to get some feedback, get some conversation going in the comment section. Um, you know, would you guys want to see Let's Play? Do you know want to see Let's Play, etc.? Are you looking forward to it? And then leave some suggestions for what I can build in it as well, you know. I want to make it a very viewer interactive Let's Play. Like, for example, I might get my first bulletin board or to-do list here. And I think, okay guys, what do you want to see me do? What should I do in the world? And then you guys can give me ideas to put on the board. And then I can go ahead and do them. And then, you know, we can work on it as a team. But yes, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. That's the update done as well. And a Minecraft Let's Play of the Summer, as well as Origins and maybe Pokemon coverage if there's a new game coming out. Who knows? But for now, this is going to be it for me for today. If you enjoyed this little you know, video, be sure to leave some feedback below on my ideas, as well as um, you know, just commenting and everything like that, as well as you know, what do you think of my world? Is it a nice world, or do you hate it? Do you hate it or not? But yeah, let me know. What do you think down below in the comment section, guys? I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching.